Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about one of the heuristic algorithms that is FASTA and uh, this is one of the applications of dot plot. We have discussed dot plot in our dis uh, previous lectures. You can go in my uh, lectures of uh, introduction to bioinformatics. You can go into the details of dot plot. But here we are talking about FASTA. First of all, just go back into the history of the sequence alignment algorithms. Number one, uh, that is that uh, in 1970s in the beginning Needleman and Wunsch made a globally aligned regions algorithm that is called a lo global alignment algorithm famously known as Needleman Wunsch algorithm and that uh, algorithm actually does end to end alignment that is global alignment and then, then there were two other scientists in 1970s who generated dot plot we have discussed uh, this algorithm in detail and um, you know that uh, mainly the idea is to find the uh, identical regions in two alignments and just place a dot or color that region to find any graphical uh, regions which are aligned between the two sequences. We will talk about it later on and we have already talked in our previous lectures. In 1981 and so on then there were a lot of different algorithms which were generated for example a Smith Waterman algorithm that is a local alignment algorithm we have discussed this before. Now in this uh, lecture we will talk about FASTA and FASTA algorithm was uh, was developed in 1988 by Pearson and Lipman and uh, we will go uh, in the basic basics and detail that how FASTA algorithm works right uh, BLAST and other BLAST tools with so on which are mentioned are actually the better or you can say a more uh, uh, complex uh, uh, you can say the product of FASTA algorithm. So if we know FASTA algorithm then we can also understand other BLAST two uh, algorithms that how they work. So what are the basically the importance of uh, FASTA and for local? What are the benefits of local alignment? You know what we do actually when we are aligning two sequences just to repeat the basics that find locally aligned region in a sequence so that we can say that this particular site is a is a is uh, you can say a uh, conserved site right compare a single nucleotide against an entire database of sequences or another thing is that we have one sequence and we want to compare it with the whole database and find the best aligned uh, aligned sequence compare smaller regions to the larger one for example we have small sequences and we want to compare it with the large sequence and find the locally aligned regions so that is one um, other important feature and and so on like find we want to find a novel sequence we have an unknown sequence and we want to compare it with the other sequences and try to find that whether this sequence is novel it is not already identified or it's already available in the databases right and so on there are so many other significant features so uh, there are two types of heuristic methods one is the FASTA and the other is BLAST uh, and FASTA actually is the first fast sequence searching algorithm for comparing a query sequence against a database right and BLAST actually is uh, the you can say an improvement in the FASTA that is BLAST stands for basic local alignment search technique which is mainly the improvement in the FASTA algorithm what is uh, the what things are improved it's uh, user friendly easy to use you can say high speed uh, the memory speed or you can say it's improved um, algorithmically wise and statistically stringent like it considers uh, more uh, stringent it takes more stringent criteria to align the two sequences compared to FASTA so let's start and go into the, in the concepts that what are the concepts behind uh, this FASTA algorithm that is actually that a good alignment contains a stretches of exact matches that is the absolute identity it means that if there is a good alignment it means that it has a number of stretches of exact match right and what uh, it does is that identify short exact matches extend the short matches to longer region of similarity first it identifies the exact match for example from here to here some region is uh, highly identical and then after identifying that exact match it tries to extend that match and try to make it as long as possible that this region of overall region of locally aligned site has a strong similarity so first a small size set of region is aligned and then that is extended in both right from the right direction and the left direction 
to extend the similarity, possible similarity. And after doing that, uh, optimize the best sub alignment using some scoring schemes. Like after finding the match, then uh, those alignments which are uh, possibly good alignments uh, are then optimized using scoring schemes like we have already discussed about Blossom substitution matrix scoring system, PAM substitution matrix scoring system and we use those scoring systems to align different matrices. So after doing that, these biologically uh, meaningful scoring schemes are used to make the alignment opti optimal and best uh, out of all the alignments, right? So mainly this whole concept is derived from the logic of dot plot as you know and if you want to go into details of dot plot again i'll say you and go and watch the whole lecture so the general workflow of the fasta is that uh, that the words are searched between query and template sequence to identify regions of similarity it means that we have two sequences just like we do in the matrix that one is in a is placed vertically and the other is placed horizontally and then the regions uh, of identity identical regions are searched in the in the in the matrix and all those regions are colored uh, or uh, or or we show that this these regions are aligned so for that we search the words words uh, itself is uh, uh, there's a specific meaning of word in a dot plot that is the that is the length of the sequence which we are aligning between the two matrices for example dna length of six nucleotide this six nucleotide is a word which is searched between the two dna sequences protein length of two minus this is the standard which is usually used when we are comparing dna sequences or protein sequences that two minor acid is a word which is used to which is that word is actually searched between the two uh, sequences one sequence is the query sequence and the other sequence is the template sequence so after uh, searching the words we align the region so this is the general workflow but if we go into the stepwise stepwise uh, workflow of the fast alignment we uh, again uh, we are going back and now i'm just adding slight complexity or you can say slight um, uh, uh, you can say detail into the into the slide so that you can move step by step and understand what actually is the fast alignment so now again what is the first step is to identify common words between the two sequences now from the previous slide you know what is word word is actually the a set of nucleotides or a set of amino acids and what between the two sequences so what are the these two sequences one is the query sequence and one is the temp test sequence that we are comparing with and uh, so we try to find the identical words between the two sequences and then identify the diagonal match sub uh, sequences with best scores so the next step is uh, we try to identify the best sub sequences or you can say this uh, with the best scores which have the high score compared to the other sub sequences so so we actually try to find the best alignment the third point is that uh, we rescore the regions with substitution score matrix after giving some score and finding the best uh, subsequences, what we do is to add those, uh, try to rescore those with the already uh, meaning, as I said, that biologically meaningful matrices which are already generated and derived, like PAM and Blossom uh, scoring matrices. And uh, if you want to go into the details of PAM and Blossom, what is PAM, what is Blossom, yeah, uh, again, you can go in my bioinformatics lectures and you can find the details so first is to identify the words between the two sequences second is to identify the best diagonally matched subsequences and then rescore that using the pam or blossom substitution matrix and after doing that join the best aligned regions together by adding gaps so just add the gaps to align the uh, subsequences i'll show you in the next slide that how basically the fasta algorithm works and how it try to find the best locally aligned regions and then use the dynamic programming to derive the best alignment so a dynamic programming is uh, is to find the best alignment out of all the aligned regions in one plot i'll show you how uh, conceptually in the next slides 
So for the first step, here you can see that there are two sequences. One is a sequence A, the other is a sequence B. And um, all the regions, for example, starting from this uh, first point to the last point and from here to there, they're all uh, each sequence is aligned between the between sequence A and B. And the, uh, all the regions which are identical are colored as dots. And after placing all the dots, we find this kind of plot that there are uh, multiple sides which are showing number of diagonal uh, you can say diagonal and uh, diagonal aligned regions for example this one this one all these are uh, uh, diagonally aligned regions with variable lengths so first thing is just uh, using the dot plot approach color all the aligned regions and then we can find the aligned regions the next point is step is rescore them using pam or blossom substitution matrix now you can see why they are using the re uh, why they are rescoring using the pam uh, blossom matrices because any of the matrices we want to use that uh, then we can identify that out of all the sub alignments which alignment is giving us a better score compared to the uh, compared to the other uh, other sub alignments so here you can see that one of few of the scores are bold compared to the light so the bold actually means that these alignments have better score compared to the uh, compared to the other alignments so what actually means the score score actually if again you want to go into the details of how the scores are generated then you can go and watch my lecture of pam and blossom that's only five ten minutes lecture but just to make you uh, more clear that higher the score means uh, there is a significant alignment and and there are uh, this uh, this alignment has a lot of matches with the high uh, uh, scores compared to the other alignments so uh, actually the what blossom substitution matrix does is if we say that there is a higher the score better is the alignment so this helps us to that's why we rescored this uh, matrix using blossom so that we can filter out uh, significant alignments out of the insignificant alignments or you can say to filter out the noise right now the next step so after rescoring we have just uh, excluded all the all the other alignments which are insignificant and now we are left with this one so for that what we will do is uh, we will just uh, join all the alignments and these uh, and each sides by uh, gaps right for example here first side and the second next side we just have to uh, add gaps and these sides these sides these sides using uh, the faster method and uh, after that you can see that uh, out of all the possible uh, sub alignments uh, we have uh, we had uh, this algorithm identified the best alignment with high score of pam substitution matrix right so uh, uh, let's if we say that uh, we move to the so i think now it's uh, clear to you, all of you that what actually faster does is using dot plot approach they try to identify the aligned regions and then rescore that aligned using using some substitution matrix and then uses the uh, gap approach to al uh, to align the whole locally aligned region so our, our, um, uh, by the end of this uh, lecture you can see the uh, these four steps you can see that uh, for example if we go back that first there was a there was a uh, region with uh, multiple alignments and that multiple alignments are then uh, rescored using pam substitution matrix and then joins the gap uh, then the uh, unsignificant alignments are removed and the gaps are joined to make to find the best optimal alignment right so the, the, then uh, just to uh, explain you further that uh, you know there is a the when we run the fast alignment then we get this kind of result then that we are comparing two sequences and some regions are matched some regions are uh, mismatches and some are matches so what uh, actually is you need to understand that here one is initialization or you can say this i n i t n this this score this what is this what is z score and what is e score so these are three things which uh, we get as an output so terminologies you need to know one is the initin you can say the, the this i n i t i n scores 
are saved for each comparison of a query database with data with database query sequence with the database sequence so each uh, uh, sequence we compare it gives some the best score is saved in the this uh, ini tin uh, variable right or uh, then there's a z score what is actually the z score z score is the standard deviation from the mean of the random scores so what is the random score that is all the scores of different alignments and z scores actually give us the standard deviation between all the random alignments scores of the random alignments so higher the z scores are the better because the uh, further the real score is from this mean the more significant is the alignment so if the the most significant alignment would be which one which has the higher score compared to the random mean of the random scores so this is some statistics just to give you uh, make it more simplified for you if you uh, that uh, uh, z score actually is if the score is higher the alignment is significant if the uh, z score is low the alignment is not that significant last is also uh, used in different alignment methods that is e value that is the expectation value so again to simplify it the lower the e value the higher is the probability of the correct alignment right so uh, so z score means that higher the z score higher is the better is the alignment e value lower the e value better is the alignment so just to uh, make you clear that these three terminologies you will see in the first output so i think it's clear now uh, let's move to other algorithm methods in the later uh, in the other classes thank you very much